after I completed that section with the nail polish and the knot, while that was drying, I took my string and I tied them up because they are a huge knotted mess. And now I'm going to start on the earbud section. My trick to it is I like to start at one earbud all the way down to the middle section where they separate and you're just going to jump over to the next one and then continue to this, the other earbud. Um, I like to do this because if you start at this end then you end up having to make four knots. This way you only have to make two because you're only stopping twice. Well you're starting and you're stopping. So just like at the very beginning I have tied two knots onto the end and I have decided to not cover that little gray area at the beginning. So I've gone right after it and made sure the knot was snugly up against that little gray area. And now this is the time where I decide what my pattern is going to be. For the earbud sections, I like to do something different than the pattern I've done at the bottom. Sometimes I like to do all four colors for the entire thing or change up the pattern or make the sections longer or do something kind of different and creative with it. So for this, since this ends um, ended with the four colors, I decided that I'm going to carry on with the four colors down here. But since I'm starting up at an earbud, I have to remember that when I get down here, I have to change to four colors to match up with this side so it's kind of uniform. So I'm going to start off with four colors, um, do a normal pattern, just one cycle of the pattern, the blue, pink, blue, purple, and then carry on with my um, four colors again to match up with this end. So that's just what I'm going to do. I'm also going to cut this little tail end a little bit shorter just so it makes it a little bit easier when I do start. So now that this little tail is shorter and all the ends are the same length, I'm just going to go ahead and start the way I started the beginning. So I'll take my four colors, make the four, put it inside, and then you have your knot, making sure just like at the beginning you're putting this tail through the hole and doing the knot over top. So now that I covered the tail, um, I'm just going to continue on with my pattern um, the way I want it to go and I'll be back when I get to this point. So I'm back and I've done all the way along the earbud. I chose my pattern to do the four colors, then one um, cycle of my pattern, and then the four colors. So I've reached the bottom. I said that I would show you guys how to transfer over to the other wire. So right now I have a little section at the bottom that I still need to cover so I'm going to do one more knot of the tiny staircase to cover up that little section. So now that that section is covered you can tell there's nothing really left there. You can kind of space the last few ones out if you need to cover it up. So, I mean, I know it looks kind of tricky um, when transferring over because it's a completely separate wire, but really it's, you really just transfer over. So I'm just going to turn it this way and pull that side out so it's easier. And I'm literally just going to transfer over to the other one and do what you've always been doing the whole time. It's a tiny staircase. You just want to push down to the bottom. If it doesn't completely go around the bottom, now after I've done one knot, I like to go around both wires. So that way you're covering both and they're kind of held together. So I'm going to take this knot and go right to the bottom. And pull it as tight as possible and now they're connected. So then I'm going to go onto the wire that I haven't done yet. 
Just done that one knot, and I'm gonna go ahead and do another knot. You can decide to do the, the the knot that I did around both of them first before you do the first knot on the section um, on the wire you haven't done yet. Um, I just wanted to do the other one first. So I'll just do a few more. And I will just continue on with my pattern that I've been following um, that's on the other earbud. So I'll just continue along, and when I do it, I'll just measure up. So when I hold it up here, I'll stop there with the four colors, and then I will continue on. So I'll just follow the pattern, making sure that it lines up with the other earbud. And then I will tie a knot at this end, just like I did um, when we finished off at this knot. So I'll just continue on with the pattern, and when I reach the end to do the knot, I will show you guys that again. So I've gone along and continued all the length of the earbuds after I crossed over and I showed you how to do that in the last section. So I've now gone along and made sure to measure up with my other earbud um, my pattern. So I just have this little bit left and I'm going to show you again um, how to do the um, finishing knot. So again you're going to need your needles. Um, some scissors and your clear nail polish. So I'm just going to set that to the side so I have it ready. And I still have a little bit of space left so I'm going to do another knot with all of my string. And luckily I've had been lucky with all this extra string left. Sometimes I don't have any at all and I have to add to it or it just kind of depends on how long your skeins are and how long your earbuds are. I've gone ahead and done two, and I still have a little bit more space. I'm just going to squish them up and do another one. Making sure to cover the whole section because I chose not to cover that gray part here, so I'm not going to cover it on this side. So I'm going to pull out my string and kind of unknot it a bit here because I want to cut off this clump that I don't need. So I'm going to make sure that I have a long enough section. So I think I'm going to cut um, I think I'm going to cut off right here because I want to be more safe than sorry. And this string is just extra. Um, I'm going to show you um, a, in a tutorial I'm coming up a little while from now what you can do with this extra string um, if you have any kind of electronic um, you can use it for. I have some here I believe. I've made two of them um, because since I've made um, they're just little wrist loops um, for your electronics because I've made um, quite a few pairs of earbuds for my friends so I've had all this extra string and I have the iPod Touch 5 which has the wrist loop on it so I decided to use the leftover string to make those and I will show them in an upcoming video. They also use the Chinese staircase technique. So I'll show those in an upcoming video if you guys would like to see that. Using the extra string left over from your earbuds, if you have some. If you don't, I mean that's fine. It doesn't really matter, but if you do, it's just a great way to use it up. If you're not going to use it for anything else. Or you can just make a regular bracelet of any sort. So again, like I showed you down here, with this knot here on this side, we did the finishing knot there. You're going to separate your, t um, your strings evenly if you can. If not, you can have one and two, or depends on how many you have. I'm just going to separate the blue and the purple and the blue and the pink. And I'm going to go around the opposite direction that they're coming out and tie a knot. And pull it really tight. And then I'm going to flip it over and tie one on the other side. Still making sure not to cover that gray part. So I've tied my two knots. Now I'm going to take my needle and my little package right here and I'm going to thread them through. I'm going to take these two strings and put them through my needle. 
like that. Fairly simple. I'm going to find a spot on my earbuds that I can thread it through. And I think I'm going to thread it through this knot here. Usually if you do it beside a knot or coming out by a knot, it tends to hide it better. I'm just going to pull that through so it's nice and tight. Let's see if I pull it through the edge there. So it's just gone through there and come out that side. So now I'm going to take this one and do it the exact same thing. And I'm going to try and let it come out in the same area so that the nail polish can kind of go in one spot. Just makes it easier that way. So pull those through. Make sure they're even. And we're going to thread it through again in relatively the same spot. So you can see they're both coming out the same spot now. So that works out pretty good. So now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut my string as close as possible to where they come out. can see where they come out there. You can see they're just sticking out just a little bit. Not very much actually. So now try not to maneuver it too much in case the string starts to come out. You're going to take your clear nail polish that you used before. Again I'm using the L'Oreal top coat. And I'm just going to clump it on where I've made my knot. to secure it. So I'll do it where I have the cutout parts and I'm going to go back and do it around the base. So all around the base. Looks like I'm putting a whole bunch on but I want to make sure that it will stay. So. There's nothing worse than spending all all this time on something and having it break. Make sure um, also when you're making these, don't pull the string um, extremely tight around your wires because the worst thing you would want is pulling them so tight so that the wires don't work anymore. Um, make sure that you test them out as you're doing it so that you don't get all the way done and then you're like, oh man, they don't even work. So make sure you do them on a working pair and make sure you don't wreck them by pulling the string too tight when you're doing it. So I'm just going to let that sit and move my supplies. You can see that it's drying a little bit. There. You can see it's a little bit darker at the ends. And when it's drying you can kind of um, squeeze it together so that it kind of becomes more compact. So yeah, that's basically how you make your no tangle earbuds. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys make them. Um, I have a because I'm crafty Instagram account. So if you would, if you ever make these, you know, tag because I'm crafty, so I can see your creations. So hey crafters, I just wanted to include some extra tips um, while making the no tangle earbuds. So again, if you have the Apple um, headphones with the microphone on them, all you have to do is do a finishing knot um, before it starts at the very tip of it and then when you want to start again you do a beginning knot. Just like I showed you at the very beginning when you start and at the very end or right here. So same thing, same steps. You can add clear nail polish or whatever you're using as your sealant 
wherever you want. If you feel there's string starting to come out somewhere and you need to seal it up, use it anywhere. You don't have to use it um, just on the finishing knots. You know you can use it on your beginning knots just to seal them to make sure that they aren't going to come apart at some point. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and comment if you guys want to see the wrist loop tutorial. Um, I think I'll be doing a few more tutorials before it. Um, I'm not sure which one I'm going to do next. I have a whole list of ones that I am planning to do. Um, make sure to check out the Because I'm Crafty Instagram account. Um, hashtag Because I'm Crafty if you want to. Or tag me in it um, at Because I'm Crafty. Um, you know, I want to see what kind of twists you guys put on these creations because I want to learn from you guys as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time, crafters. Bye!